Come, Holy Spirit, I need you. Come, Holy Spirit, I pray. Today's verse is taken from Isaiah 48, verse 16. Today's verse is taken today's verse is taken from Isaiah 48 verse 16 and now the sovereign Lord has sent me with his spirit so we pray come a Holy Spirit fill hearts of the faithful and kindle in us the fire of your love send forth your spirit and they shall be created and you shall renew the face of the earth. Amen. Brothers and sisters, this is a verse that speaks about the Sovereign Lord sending His Son with His Spirit. This is one of those very few verses seen in the Old Testament, one of those very few verses seen in the Old Testament that mentions the Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Isaiah 48, verse 16, the last part. The Lord God has sent me and his spirit. So another version says the sovereign Lord has sent me. Sovereign Lord has sent me with his spirit. So the sovereign Lord is the father has sent me whom the son with his spirit that is the Holy Spirit. So the Bible scholars help us to see that this is an Old Testament glimpse of the Trinity, quote unquote, an Old Testament glimpse of the Trinity. And for many who have doubts about the Trinity, uh, reveal the Old Testament for those who have these questions that Holy Trinity is a New Testament doctrine. This verse gives the answer. And the context here that is Isaiah 48 is about Cyrus. Cyrus conqueror of Babylon with the servant of the Lord the Messiah who will also accomplish his mission so there's a con uh, contrast contrast this verse contrasts Cyrus with the servant of the Lord the Messiah and when he comes to redeem the nations he will offer himself as the perfect sacrifice taking upon himself the iniquity of us all. Isaiah 53. Isaiah 53. And now, Isaiah 48. Sent by the Father and aided by the Spirit, the Son will not fail as the Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. 48.17. Look at 48.17. Thus says the Lord, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. I am the Lord your God, who teaches you for your own good, who leads you in the way you should go. Okay, so sent by the Father and aided by the Spirit, the Son will not fail as the Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. So, this verse reveals about the Holy Spirit. This verse reveals about the Holy Spirit that the Holy Spirit is God. He's truly God. 
we know the Father God, we know Son of God, Messiah, the second person of the Holy Trinity. And the Holy Spirit is not, not less than God. So this is the words in the Old Testament that makes it clear. So, the Holy Spirit possesses all the attributes of God, all the attributes worthy of worship. That's the reason we say we adore you, Holy Spirit. We adore you. We praise you, Holy Spirit. So, let's not... Uh, remain in a confused state about the Holy Spirit taking Holy Spirit lightly people take Holy Spirit lightly or they don't really understand the role of the Holy Spirit it is the Holy Spirit who speaks to us as you read the Acts of the Apostles time and again we see this phrase the Holy Spirit said the Holy Spirit spoke the Holy Spirit told us not to go there. So, the Holy Spirit speaks. God speaks. And when uh, the Holy Spirit is resisted, or, you know, the Bible says, do not resist the Spirit. Do not uh, stifle the Spirit. So, when we resist God, uh, the Holy Spirit, we are actually resisting God himself. So, it's so beautiful to see this verse in the Old Testament. Uh, 48, 16. And uh, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. So, let us not look at the Holy Spirit as some Tao. You know, it's a, he's a Tao. He's only a Tao. You know? <laughs> so, people have this way of understanding. Oh, Tao. Or maybe some uh, an angelic presence. No. No. Holy Spirit is not an angelic being. He is God. Holy Spirit is God. Look at that. How clear this verse reveals to us. He is truly God the Holy Spirit. He is God the Holy Spirit not less than God or um, not some kind of power alone. He's a person, person. And brothers and sisters, let us pray. Loving Father God, we thank you for revealing to us that the Holy Spirit is your spirit. Thank you for revealing to us that the Holy Spirit is with Je was with Jesus. Thank you for revealing to us that the Holy Spirit helps us and He is God. He is God the Holy Spirit. Heavenly Father, thank you for this revelation of your Trinity. In this verse, you are the Sovereign Lord. You sent your Son with your Spirit. Come, O Holy Trinity, dwell within us. Come, O Holy Trinity, be with us and guide us. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, I need you Come Holy Spirit I pray Come with your strength and your power Come in your own gentle way 